There was an article called The Twitter Files, which is about these files that were released once Elon took control of Twitter and he released internal documents. And the what happened was somebody nominated it for deletion, but even the nomination said, this is actually, this is mainly about the Hunter Biden laptop controversy. Shouldn't this information be there instead? Mm -hmm. So anyone can, like it takes exactly one human being anywhere on the planet to propose something for deletion. And that triggers a process where people discuss it, which within a few hours, it was what we call snowball closed, i.e. this doesn't have a snowball's chance in hell of, of passing. So an admin goes, yeah, wrong, yeah. and closed the debate, and that was it. That was the whole thing that happened. Um, and so nobody proposed suppressing the information. Nobody proposed it wasn't important. It was just like editorially boring internal question. And, you know, so sometimes people read stuff like that, and they're like, oh, you see? Look at these leftists. They're trying to suppress the truth again. It's like, well, slow down a second and come and look. Like, literally, it's not what happened. Yeah, so I think the right is more sensitive to censorship. Uh, and so yeah. they, they will more likely uh, highlight, there's more virality to highlighting something that looks like censorship in any walks of life. And this moving a paragraph from one place to another or removing it and so on as part of the regular grappling of Wikipedia can make a hell of a good article. Oh, YouTube yeah. video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it sounds really uh, enticing and, and intriguing and surprising to most people because they're like, oh, you know, I'm reading Wikipedia. It doesn't seem like a crackpot leftist website. It seems pretty kind of dull, really, in its own geeky way. Well, that's uh, how and so I, that makes a good story. It's like, oh, am I being misled because there's a shadowy cabal of Jimmy Wales? 